Hi students, welcome back to Appleby Academy's classes. So in this video, we are going to discuss about concepts of marketing. So you can see that it's a very basic topic which is related to marketing man marketing management, but still uh, it has so much importance when you are just going through uh, net exam. Okay, so I'll just show you a question which got asked on December 2022 for shift one students in which one of the following concepts a buyer is passively involved in an exchange transaction and he accepts whatever is offered to him by a marketer. Okay, so you have four options production concept, product concept, selling concept and marketing concept. So you need to identify the, the concept which is uh, mentioned in the above uh, situation okay so before going to answer this question or uh, for answering this question it is important that you should know the various concept mentioned here so we'll start with the first concept that is production concept what is production concept see production concept is the concept which is focusing upon production okay so that means here the firm or here the company is giving importance to production maximum production how much they can produce they are giving more efforts on producing more output that's a that, that is a major aim in this particular concept okay uh, so according to this concept, consumers will purchase those goods that are readily available and are low in cost. So this concept assumes that people will purchase or customers will purchase those goods which are available in the market. So whatever is available, they will purchase it. Okay, that was the major assumption of this production concept. So it is not at all concentrated on any other perspective of customers needs or wants it is not at all giving any focus to their needs or wants it is only assuming that whatever is produced will be demanded by the consumer and that will be in low cost but in reality so when you are just considering or it is very easy to understand that whether we are going to accept such type whatever the manufacturer is producing will we accept that no so at the end of this stage or after, or this particular era was resulted in uh, that uh, this is not a better concept to be followed because if you are producing more and more see customers is not going to accept all these things so in reality customers are motivated by a variety of consideration in their purchases beside prices so we will look for prices but rather than that we will uh, go for its or identify or choose by choose a product by its features quality etc okay price is a is a character or so I mean price is a factor which we are considering but not only we are giving a focus to prices rather other factors are also very important so anyway here when you're considering about the consumer you can see that he is a passive one they can they consider customer as a passive person he is not at all giving any focus for a purchase of particular product he will purchase whatever is available in the market okay he is not giving any focus to uh, his needs or something like that. So that's why this particular concept uh, failed and the next concept came that is product concept. So this product concept is giving more focus to the features or characteristics of product. Okay, so which gives importance to quality of product and here the quality of products uh, goods are produced and distributed on a large scale. So after the failure, failure of this production concept, it was identified that it is important that you should give quality products to the customers. Okay, you should add uh, more features to that or you should give more importance to product rather than giving importance to price. We need to give more focus on product. Okay, so according to this concept, they assume that consumers will only accept products with good quality okay they will accept good quality products only that was the major assumption of this product concept okay so uh, here also you can see that even though they are uh, considering about the features or characteristics of product then also they are not at all considering what the consumer needs or we are not at all analyzing about the needs and wants of customer that was the problem which is related to this product concept so it, it just giving only focus to product so again this product i mean this particular concept failed and moved to selling concept
So here the complete concentration or complete effort towards selling the products. Okay, it is not giving focus to production or product. It is giving uh, maximum focus to selling their products. Okay, giving importance to sales promotion technique. So here the product is pushed into market by aggressive advertising and publicity, personal selling, discount offers, gift attractive packages, etc. So under this concept, the company is trying to sell their products to customer so for that they are using a number of techniques like they are just giving a more discounts or some gifts are given attractive packages are given they are using advertisement personal selling etc for inducing customers to buy their products so the here the sales will increase only by using sales promotion so according to this concept they assume that okay we need to improve our sales and if you want to improve your sales you need to give more effort on selling your products okay so the consumers will be uh, actually you must be induced to purchase the product so that was completely a sales oriented uh, concept so here also we can see that they are not at all going to consider they are not at all giving any importance to the needs and wants of customers that means here also they are not identifying what this customer needs okay so this is not useful for or marketing situation see all these stages in the first stage in production we are giving more focus to production okay so you're giving your maximum effort on producing the goods okay and at that stage it was uh, it, it was of the thought that whatever produced will be demand by demanded by the customer okay so there also you're not at all considering about the uh, needs and wants of customers and after that when you move to product concept you give more importance to the features of product you are just trying to give quality products okay here also you are not considering even though you are adding more features on your product we are not considering what customer needs okay that is not actually considering in this situation and after that you reach selling concept in this concept you are trying to uh, induce the customers to buy your product and finally we are moving on to marketing concept here this is the concept where we are giving importance to customers needs and wants okay so that's why it is known as consumer oriented or consumer orientation concept that means according to this concept it is important that the company firstly need to identify what customer needs what are their um, consideration or what are their uh, the features that they need or the price they expect the quality they expect all these should be identified so here the primary focus or complete focus is giving to consumer that is actually happening in a marketing concept while in all other cases consumers needs and wants are not actually considered okay so these are the important concepts which you need to study under the concepts of marketing anyway coming back to our question now you need to read the question carefully in which one of the following concepts a buyer is passively involved in an exchange transaction. That means uh, there is no much importance is given to a buyer and he accepts whatever is offered to him by a marketer. So whatever is offered will be accepted. Okay, anyway, we know that this is not going to be a part of um, what marketing concept because marketing concept is the concept where we are giving more importance to uh, the consumers and when you're just coming to selling concept selling concept is actually concentrated on inducing sales okay that is also not coming under this one product concept means you need to give quality products then they will accept okay but here it is referred that whatever is offered if you offer anything they will purchase that means if you produce anything they will accept it so that's the situation which is related to production concept that we already discussed right they are giving more focus on production they will produce maximum and whatever they are actually uh, selling that will be purchased by this consumers so you can go for which option option a production concept okay anyway this was a simple question but you need to read the key elements or keywords carefully that means whatever is offered to him by a marketer he will accept whatever is offered that can be only connected with the production concept if it is saying about the quality of product you can go for product concept and if it is uh, saying about the sales effort you can go for selling uh, concept 
and if it is focusing on the needs and wants of customer you can go for marketing concept okay so in this video we discussed about basic concept of marketing so it's a very important area not at all uh, this marketing concept the pro the uh, marketing era everything is actually evolution of marketing that is also a very important point so when you are studying uh, harder areas or complicated areas which is related to marketing don't forget to um, forget to study these areas also basics areas also okay you can expect question from basics areas also so i hope this video will help you for your preparation thank you and happy learning